Shivers in the middle, watch by Rosato. Coates. Shivers! Well, he snatched at it a little bit, Martin Shivers. The build-up coming down the goal line and giving Coates a chance to put it back. Ralph Coates. Shivers had to hit it quickly and got underneath it. Benetti. Big on. Nicely taken by Rivera. He's got goal into his right. Could try a shot and does! Well taken by the goalkeeper with a beautiful piece of play. Far side of the six-yard box, Gilzine on the near post. England moving on the penalty spot. Gilzine's back flick. Perryman. Peters! Getting his header through the crowd from Perryman's cross. Martin Peters getting in front of his man, who was Ancoletti. Iglesias is going to have to have words with Zignoli. Every time he and Gilzine go for the ball, there's a dig in. Mannery. Gilzine's header. Lovely break on the near side by Alan Murray from number 11. Beautifully paced ball by Cyril Knowles. And as it came across, Gilzine flung himself at it, but it curled up and over. Four up for the Italians on the edge of the box. Good header by Naylor. Benetti! team for a couple of matches with eye trouble. Peters getting up. Punched away by Curicini. A free kick anyway given to Milan. For a foul on the six-yard line. Naylor. Peters. Perryman. He did very well to keep that as low as he did. It was a bit wide, but he kept it down beautifully. Had an hour of the match, and it's still one all. Free kick given against Sabadini. And Mallory telling Soliano to get away. And the referee coming across with his card out for both players, or just for Soliano? No, just for Soliano who was preventing Mallory taking the free kick. For Soliano, the third player to be booked. And he's still not 10 yards. The red card coming out. And 
that means he's off. The red card surely means that he's off. The Italians complaining bitterly. He was warned, Rivera complaining, but Soliano is off the field. He's staying there, but the referee has sent him off. He's got to go, there's no doubt about that. Big on, pleading on his behalf. But Soliano goes. He was warned he wouldn't go back 10 yards, and he paid the penalty. The referee utterly and completely within his rights. Kinnear just outside the box. Tottenham's ninth corner. Payment shot! He's done it again! Tottenham have done it again. It was Sabadini who got the clearance. Pulled down by Perriman and hit through again. Lower this one, but still finding a corner. Signaler, Perriman. Tottenham suffering from their matches over Easter. Too many games to play. It was all set up for them, but they couldn't make it. And they go to the San Siro Stadium with a 2-1 lead. The two goals, both of them scored by Steve Perriman. But that situation means that AC Milan have only got to win on their own ground by a goal to nothing to go through on the away goals rule. Spurs playing against 10 men for so long, but one must pay credit to those 10 men of AC Milan who defended very, very well indeed. Their man-for-man -man working system worked completely for them and Tottenham have just one goal to take with them to Milan.